guys, what's up? It's Julia and welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, we are going to be doing the Booktubeathon. My Booktubeathon TBR. Yes. We have to cry. If you do not know the Booktubeathon is a readathon, I will have the dates on the screen and all the info down below. I'm sure you guys already know though, but this runs every year and it's my favorite thing ever. I go hardcore. I get up at 3 a.m. and start reading. Like I am one of those readathon people that takes it like like I take it as a challenge. I'm not competitive, but I take it as a challenge. Like I will win. No, I'm super excited about it. I'm going to be doing daily vlogs as of now. I have I have that plan to do like I plan to do daily uploads So I'm super excited and to see everybody else's videos and TBRs. It's just overall I love booktubeathon It brings everyone together and like I met Ariel once too So like I just appreciate this readathon so much too, but without further ado TBR Let's get into what I'm probably gonna be reading. Let a coin toss determine your first read So when I saw this I was like lovely because I can't like coin toss like in a fancy way like you know how some people like can do it all fancy and I'm like oh shit <laughs> like how the hell am I gonna do that so we're gonna grab a coin we're gonna grab a penny an old <laughs> Canadian penny and the two books that I'm going to be flipping for is By Your Side by Casey West this is Library Romance and On the Fence which this is summer tomboy romance I think I don't know so heads will be By Your Side and tails will be this one so we're just gonna throw it oh shit I almost broke my phone um okay so that's tails what did I say tails was Haley how did you start what so I believe I said this was tails if not it's the other one but I'm reading one of these that's pretty cool get rid of this penny <laughs> next is read a book about something you want to do so I'm kind of cheating on this one but like I would love to be a blogger one day but like it's also a lot of work and I got my channel but like it'd be cool to have a blog one day of just like book stuff and like other like lifestyle stuff one day maybe so I'm going to be going with Snot Girl Volume 2 because this um our main character is a fashion blogger so I'm so excited to read Volume 2 I've been waiting for the right time to read it because I'm so excited I've been hyping it up in my own head and like I need to read it and this is the second volume to Snot Girl which is about a fashion blogger who has a lot of allergies and there's like some contemporary feels in there it's very relatable but then there's also like a mystery aspect and like no one knows what's happening so I'm excited to read this one read a book and watch the adaptation so I don't know what I'm gonna be doing for this this one will probably change but for now I have Sweet Bitter and this is by Stephanie Dandler I know there's a film for this no idea what this is about I just know there's a film and like I own the book and I'm like sure you will develop a palette blah 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 these are the words that introduce us to Tess, the 22-year narrator of Sweet Bitter, and you will never again read a debut coming-of-age novel stunning as this one. So, whatever that means. Fun. I believe it has, like, low ratings on Goodreads, but I hope it's good. hope the film's good if I end up watching it. I read a book with green on the cover, so you'll see, you'll, you've seen this book before if you've been here in my TBR videos, but that is Every Heart and Doorway. I want to do my reread of this, so this obviously has green. Next challenge is read a book while wearing the same hat. So I'm going to be wearing my untouchable motionless and white hat that I got from their concert. So apparently I'm going to be wearing this. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to choose like a beanie rather than like a cap. But like I don't have any cute caps and I like this hat. So we're going to do this and read this while like put this on while I read a book. I'll probably do the graphic novel honestly because that's the easiest but yes. Read a book with a beautiful spine. For this, I have Bad Romance by Heather Demetrios. I know this deals with an abusive relationship and the spine is beautiful, so it's perfect for this challenge. And last but not least is to read seven books. And I've accomplished this the past two or three years that I've done Booktubeathon. I've done this, so I must do it again, even if I have to like graphic novel and throw out all the manga, like throw up the manga and the graphic novels, even if I like fall behind, like I'll catch up. We got to do this. We got to get seven books. That's just my opinion. Of course, it's all for fun. You can combine challenges. You don't have to read seven books in a week. It's a lot. And I don't even know how busy I am that week, but I'll make time. But um, for seven books, I'm going to be reading Down Among the Sticks and Bones. I'm rereading Every Heart of Doorway so that I can read the sequel slash companion. I believe it's more of a companion um, to that, which these are like urban fantasy kind of about kids who go into different worlds and then they all come back and they're all like, what the hell we miss where we were 
and then there's some mystery going on and stuff like that. So anyways, that was my book booktube on TBR. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know how excited you are. If you're not excited, then I'm kind of concerned. You should be excited. Um, I love booktube -a I'm so excited about it. Like, I know everyone's probably, like, freaking out. Is going to be freaking out in their videos. But, like, I'm so excited for this. And, yes. I'm so excited to watch everyone's the videos, too. Not the point. Okay. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. All that sort of jazz. And I'll see you all super soon. Bye.